Hello everyone, so in this video we will discuss about the veterinary first year some prerequisite that is very very necessary before starting the journey. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, let's discuss about the subjects that are for the Bachelor of Veterinary Science and Animal Husbandry in first year. So in the first year we have three subjects, first is Veterinary Anatomy, second is Veterinary Physiology and third is livestock production and management. So now moving on, let's discuss about the syllabus for the veterinary anatomy theory portion. So under this we have total 8 units available. So the unit number 1 deals with the general introduction like general osteology, arthology, myology, angiology, neurology, esthiology and splanchnology. The unit number 2 deals with the study of the four limb anatomy. The unit number 3rd deals with the study of the head and neck anatomy. The unit number 4th deals with the thorax region anatomy. The unit number 5th deals with the abdomen region. The unit number 6th deals with the hind limb and the pelvis. Unit number 7th deals with the cytology, cell junctions and histology portion and unit number 8. Moving on, let's discuss about the syllabus for the practical portion of the veterinary anatomy. So similarly, we have 8 units available. The unit number 1 that deals with the general introduction. The unit number 2 that deals with the fold limb. The unit number 3rd that deals with the head and neck region. The unit number 4th that deals with the thorax region. The unit number 5 that deals with the abdomen region. The unit number 6 that deals with the hind limb and the pelvis region. The unit number 7 that deals with the microscopy and micrometry and the unit number 8. After that, let's discuss about the syllabus for the veterinary physiology theory portion. So under this, we have total 4 units available. The unit number 1 that includes the blood cardiovascular, nervous and muscular system and as well as the muscle physiology. The unit number 2 that deals with the digestive and respiratory system. The unit number 3rd that deals with the excretory and the endocrine system and the unit number 4th that deals with the reproduction, lactation, growth and environmental physiology. After that, let's discuss about the syllabus for the practical portion for the veterinary physiology. So simply we have 4 units available, the unit number 1 that deals with the blood, cardiovascular, nervous and muscular system. The unit number 2 that deals with the digestive and respiratory system. The unit number 3rd that deals with the excretory and the endocrine system. And the unit number 4th that deals with the reproduction, lactation, growth and environmental physiology. Moving on, let's discuss about the syllabus for the livestock production and management theory portion. So under this we have total 9 units available. The unit number 1 that deals with the general livestock management. Unit number 2 for the fodder production and conservation. Unit number 3rd for the livestock production and management for the ruminants. The unit number 4th for the zoo animal production management. Unit number 5th for the animal welfare. Unit number 6th for the poultry production and management. Unit number 7th for the diversified poultry production and hatchery management. Unit number 8th for the laboratory or rabbit or pet animal production management. And unit number 9 for the swine or equine or camel, yak and mithun production and management. Moving on, let's discuss about the syllabus for the practical portion for the livestock production and management. So under this we have only 8 units available. The unit number 1 for the general livestock management. The unit number 2 for the fodder production and conservation. Unit number 3rd for the livestock production management for the ruminants. Unit number 4th for the zoo animal production and management. The unit number 5th for the poultry production and management. The unit number 6th for the incubation and hatchery management. The unit number 7th for the laboratory or rabbit or pet animal production management. And the unit number 8th for the swine or equine or camel, yak and mithun production and management. So this is about the syllabus for the veterinary first year. Now you have to think about the subject that the subject is only the subject. But the subject is so big, so the syllabus is so big, so the topics are so big, so the units are so big, how will it be? तो सिंपल सी बात है लेट मी मेक दिस थिंग वेरी क्लियर 
अगर करोगे तो आसानी से हो जाएगा अगर प्रोक्रासीनेट करोगे कि भाई कल कर लेंगे परसों कर लेंगे अभी नहीं बाद में कर लेंगे तो ये सिलेबस कभी भी कंप्लीट नहीं हो पाएगा इवन आप एग्जाम्स भी देने बैठोगे तब भी नहीं हो पाएगा सो लेट मी टेल यू द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस सिंपल सा फंडा है आपको क्या करना है डेली टारगेट सेट करने उन टारगेट्स को फुलफिल करना है एंड ग्रेजुअली आपके सारे टॉपिक्स सारे यूनिट्स कवर हो जाएंगी एंड इट विल आल्सो रिटेन एफिशिएंटली इन योर माइंड लास्टली आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट टू जस्ट पॉज द वीडियो एंड हैव ए डिटेल्ड लुक फॉर द डिफरेंट सब टॉपिक्स डेट आर मैंशन फॉर द डिफरेंट यूनिट्स दैट्स ऑल गुड लक So that's all for this video we will meet very soon in the next one